Hey guys, Fake Rooster here, and yes, I am finally back. After about a month or so of not uploading due to tech issues, taking some time off, taking a bit of a break, and sorting some things out in my personal life, I'm finally returning, and you should see more regular video uploads once again around once a week, as we planned to when we started the channel. I just wanted to make a very quick video just to say that I'm coming back, talk a little bit about some games at Gamescom, some of the Battlefield news that we've had, and some content coming up for you guys to sit back and enjoy in the future. So I suppose we should start, of course, with Battlefield 2042. Now, one of the things we got to see relatively recently was that fantastic cinematic that they released called Exodus, where it had a really interesting storyline where maybe not all is well in Nopat land, and there's actually factions that are perhaps rivaling each other. We've got Oz on one side and Irish and his buddies on the other. We also got to see Pac returning very briefly and very sadly for a little bit in that cinematic. But I think that the best takeaway from that is that it's great for me as a Battlefield 4 fan that Irish is coming back and is going to be a specialist that we're going to be able to play as in the multiplayer. We also, of course, got quite a small snippet to show off Irish as a specialist, which included some, wait for it, gameplay, which is something that has really, really been lacking from Battlefield 2042's kind of raw gameplay. We saw a little bit in trailers, but not actual raw matches or gameplay or anything like that. Of course, some of us may have seen some of that because for a very long time, there was a lot of leaked footage from the closed alpha that appeared everywhere on the internet. And it actually took... To my surprise, EA and DICE about 24 hours, maybe more than that, to start taking some of this down and issuing copyright strikes, which is quite surprising. So we'd see a little bit in that, and you know, that's kind of divided opinion a wee bit, but we haven't seen anything official in terms of gameplay. Now that's causing some issues amongst the Battlefield community. If you're on Reddit, you might be aware of the Battlefield 2042 subreddit and how that has imploded and has unfortunately become a rather toxic place to be. Lots of people shouting at devs, shouting at the marketing team, all sorts of things, and the odd person trying to defend them. So it has become quite a difficult place to be recently. Hopefully we get something from EA and DICE soon. You know, we're in September tomorrow, so hopefully we're going to get at least some beta information or anything like that would be great to hear. Whilst I do understand people's frustrations, and I am frustrated myself about the gameplay issue, I don't think swearing at the company or... Uh, writing off devs or the game or anything is really going to help anything so we do need to be patient as annoying as it is we do have to have a little bit of patience here we had gamescom as well last week and that was great to see some really fantastic titles coming soon obviously no battlefield but we got to see a little bit of call of duty vanguard which did actually look pretty good I played modern warfare which was fantastic i played black ops cold war which left a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. I had a really good amount of fun with some friends playing the 3v3 mode and some zombies and things like that, but I wasn't entirely sold by the multiplayer in general. I'm kind of hoping that Vanguard is going to be good, but I'm, I'm on the fence as of yet as to whether I'll pick that one up. I think it's a really cool concept that they're doing where they're taking actual people that fought in World War II, coming up with soldiers that you can play as that represent them, and then, you know, fighting in these iconic battles. So we'll have to wait and see what's happening there. We also got to see a little bit of Saints Row, which has divided opinion a wee bit. We're going to see what this remake kind of does to the franchise. It looks a lot like GTA rather than Saints Row, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens there as well. Saw a bit of that fantastic zombie parkour game, of course, Dying Light, Dying Light 2, the sequel. I'm looking forward to that as well. I think that's a really, really cool co-op experience. I'm excited to play that with some friends as well. We also saw the Skywalker saga, which has been delayed many times, and that's finally coming. It was very weird to be sitting, watching that, and thinking, this looks good. Do you know what I mean? Because Lego has that stylistic thing about it, but it actually not only is stylistic, but actually looks really next-gen and really cool. So as a massive Star Wars geek, of course, I'll be picking that one up as well. And we also saw a little bit of Marvel's Midnight Suns, which was really, really intriguing. Seemingly this is going to be an XCOM style game, but with superheroes, so I'm kind of excited about that. Now in terms of future content that you can expect, a couple ideas that are going around in the works just now. Firstly is the long overdue video, which was the interview I did with Ardy, which I promised in the last video would be coming at some point. That is going to be coming this week, so me and Ardy have been really close friends. I've probably played with Ardy a lot more than anyone else in RSOC, so you're going to see a bit of our back and forth as we kind of reminisce on previous titles that we've played together 
as well as talk about what we might expect from the future battlefield. Also should expect to see perhaps some more weapon history videos. I'll be doing a video or two in Halo at some point because I haven't featured that yet but I am very excited about Halo Infinite of course coming in the future as well. That was another game of course we saw more of in Gamescom and really really excited me as a Halo fan to try and dive back into Halo 5 and the MCC. Of course you'll get general live commentary round based stuff from Battlefield as always. So that'll be about it for me today guys. Thank you very much for being really patient with me as I sorted some things out at home so I can make more regular videos again in the future. As always, thank you all very much for your support. Please give me a like if you enjoyed the video or if you're looking forward to some of the content that I'm making. And let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to see from the channel in the future. But thank you so much guys for watching. I'll catch you later this week.